Hey Olise, today is Thursday, November 16th, and welcome to Gateway High School. I'm Jose, and I'm here with my wonderful co-host, Gitzel. Parent-teacher conferences are tonight, starting from 4.30 p.m., and the last call will be at 7.30 p.m. So please make sure to bring down your parents so they can be up to date with their school life. Progress reports are also being posted. Show your parents the great grades you have and discuss areas of growth with your teachers. For even more help, this Friday at 9 a.m. is a student access day. So come to Gateway for one-on-one -on -one help with your teachers. Can you tell us about your post-secondary journey? So after I graduated high school, I went to college, was the first one in my family to do that, um, and then ran a martial arts school for several years, ended up getting into programming, I became a computer programmer and did a bunch of certifications for that, and then missed working with kids, so went back and uh, got my stuff to be a teacher, and then went back to get a master's degree and a graduate certificate so I could teach English at the college level. Did you always like want to aim at being a teacher or was there a higher goal before? So for me, ultimately I didn't know that I would want to be a teacher, but I taught classes for martial arts. Uh, when I got into programming, they ended up hiring me to train programmers. Uh, so it always just led back to me actually working with people and teaching different things. So eventually I was like, why don't I just teach teenagers since that's my favorite group of people to work with. So. And what was your main transition to becoming a teacher? Um, so I used to come and volunteer at a couple schools, teaching like bully proofing and stuff, and was like, well, if I like doing this so much, like a week out of time, I might as well just do it full time. And so I went back, and that's why I actually got my degree to be able to teach. Thank you. You're welcome. The theater department is hosting its first ever drama club meeting tomorrow from 3.30 to 4 in the green room, aka Mr. Rosen's room. This meeting will give out information on how to become a thespian, upcoming fundraisers, and the SWAO teams. Speaking of fundraisers, come to the theater department's performance on December 6th at 6 p.m. for only five buckaroos. This fundraiser is for our thespian troops and will support them at Thescon this year. So check out Gateway's Most Dramatic People for only $5. Miss Weeder and the freshman seminar class are collecting canned goods for the amazing food drive. Today, tomorrow, and Monday, please donate as much as you can to the Thanksgiving food drive. Bring canned food items to Miss Weeder's room in room 105 before and after school. And bring canned food tonight at parent-teacher conferences starting from 4.30. If you bring three items, you'll be entered in a $50 gift card raffle or have some swaggy gateway merch. We all win, and we win when we give back. I'm Devin, and this Thanksgiving season, let's come together as a community and make a difference. Bring your non-perishable fluid items to room 105 and be a part of something truly special. Let's fill our hearts by filling our donation bins. And here's a cherry on top. For every three items you donate, you'll be entered into a crazy raffle. Picture yourself winning gift cards or rocking some gateway swag. It's the season of giving and we're turning your generosity into a chance Thank to win so big. Much. But remember, the joy of giving doesn't have a deadline. We'll be accepting donations until Monday. So Thank let's let this Thanksgiving much. be unforgettable. Bring your donations to room 105, make our community happy and let the spirit of gratitude shine bright freshman thanksgiving food drive because together we can make a difference happy thanksgiving gateway high school hey yet so do you know what's happening on december 9th well of course the jolliest gateway event of the year shop with an oldie starting at 8 a.m you and your fabulous team of two or four people will meet with your little ollie and slay your way down to target for an amazing shopping experience you will also be buying gifts for your little Oli and their family as well so they can enjoy Christmas. Your team must collect a minimum of $150 and bring this form to Miss Marie at the bookkeeper's office. If you can't make it but still want to contribute, don't worry. You can help by donating canned foods, tissue paper, wrapping paper, graham crackers, and cookie decorations. Let's all come together in the name of Christmas spirit and help little Olis in our community and make this moment unforgettable. Breaking news. We just got informed the next week we will only be having two days of school starting Wednesday next week through Monday the 27th. We'll be back on Thanksgiving break. We will come back the following Tuesday the 28th on a black day. Only four days to go guys. Just hang on there. 
If you aren't playing a winter sport, what the heck are you doing? We have a good variety of sports. If you're not athletic like Jose, you should get involved in a club. Check out one of these great clubs and join today. They look good in college resumes. Well, Elise, that's it for today. Make sure you turn in all of your assignments for progress grades and parent-teacher conferences. And so you can have a relaxing Thanksgiving break. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Peace, Peace. out. <laughs>